it's about who you want to become in general and uh, build yourself like brick by brick. Yay, hey everybody! Recently got a very cool question about how to stay creative, how to stay motivated to build up something new, to create new tricks and uh, work on new skills. Basically, I think there is no short answer because this is kind of a huge topic and for me, for my understanding, the creative part is when you do something from nothing. So you have a piece of paper and you start drawing or you have a digital audio workstation and you start putting chords and building the progression you create something from nothing and the same for video you just film something edit and make actual things that people can see people can touch people can hear this is in my understanding creative process but basically a lot of things already exist so you cannot come up with a chord progression that never exists or the color or shape that never exists. From my understanding, when, when I create, I'm not building something like completely new. I just uh, use the things that already exist and show them different in different perspective or maybe from different angle. You have a different material and you have a different result. For me personally, it uh, doesn't matter what the result will be. Uh, the process may be take more attention because sometimes you can get the result that you completely not satisfied i'll give you example for be sure that i'm explaining myself well i think a lot of people understand me because like sometimes midnight you're like oh i want to make an art here and right now i want to make a music here and right now and uh, you just working like two three four hours all night building building and creating and you like super satisfied and when you're tired okay I'm gonna sleep and uh, continue my work. You sleep, wake up, look at all the that you've done and you're just like, oh my God, this is like piece of that I would just like burn it, delete it and never remember about it. It can be uh, almost about everything and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people experience the same feeling. So basically, uh, it's very hard to find the one particular answer for everybody. I think just like keep pushing, keep trying to do things that you like and uh, this is more important part. If you feel that you're struggling, you're fine. But if you feel that it's torture for you, uh, I think it might be an issue. Because from my perspective, I struggle a lot to do things, but I never felt that it's a torture for me or something. I think this is language thing. So in general, I think it's a very cool topic. And uh, yeah, if you have any ideas, like uh, comment and we can talk about this. And I want to share with you, with uh, my tips, maybe tricks, how I try to build something different okay so basically the tools that you have is very important for me the ninja gym here is a amazing workstation when you can build more and more and more and uh, it has almost no limits to build whatever you want but i want to share with you uh, one example that i have uh, like almost 15 years so i started producing music when i was 13 and uh, when you try to come up with a new skill or with a new tool it's kind of can be frustrating because you don't know how to use it and you start searching how to use the tool and you find some information with a new tool and you're like oh i need this new sample pack or i need this new vst instrument or i need to update my digital audio workstation and you're focusing on uh, building toolbox but your skills is not going to change this toolbox is useless sometimes people who has less tools they they more productive uh, this is a good example uh, i think everybody saw the guy uh, i think uh, somewhere in India and don't get me wrong the guy with the stick who built the like the pools and the houses uh, Just on the on the ground. I think everybody saw it. Yeah, it's very popular on YouTube Yeah, check it out toolbox is important, but it's not the main thing You don't need a super new super expensive brush to make the line and you don't need to super expensive super fancy keyboard to play chords, you know, and uh, let's make an example so so I did fly away it's a backflip from the bar to the bar uh, and this is pretty cool trick, I like it, I'm still working on it. Uh, recently I found this cool thing, so the rings and wing nut. 
uh, offset. If you do fly away here, so wing nut will be on your side. So you have to turn and grab. And this is kind of cool variation of the move that you already have. Let's try to work on it and see how it feels. Basically the conclusion is you have a tool, master your tool. Try to use it as efficient as possible. So it's not a rule, it's work for me, but if it will work for you, I'll be super happy. Let's move on. Well, after a successful at attempt, I just bleed a little bit, not much, but yeah, I just want to tape it to uh, not be messy. Ta-da, done. Okay, so next tip that works for me is the listen people around you even they can say something just for fun for make a joke but sometimes it, it might work let's see the example so i was working on the transition from the wing nut here to the uh, big cliffhanger i can do it right now so cool i like kind of tricks that uh, you just fly then i try to make it a little bit harder and i work on the transition from the wing nut to the small cliffhanger and eventually I start feeling myself uh, very comfortable and relaxed doing all these moves and my friend just said oh you are so high you can you can step on it and uh, that was kind of joke but I was thinking hmm why not because uh, I saw a lot of parkour athletes do the uh, the nice lachaine techniques and uh, they can step on the bar it's pretty cool why not why just don't try to do it right now I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about So, and basically the move that I never be able to do because I didn't know that I'm capable for I just like listen to my friend and say hey why not listen to your friends people around sometimes yeah, you can hear something cool something that can uh, push you forward okay so next tip is the challenge aspect I'm not trying to say that I'm gonna do everything that people say oh it's impossible or it's undoable or you will not be able to do this no everything's supposed to be balanced because too much is not always good too much water can kill you so I think the balance is the right word we were playing around on this obstacle uh, this uh, Rodel hook which is incredible hard this one and uh, I was saying that uh, try to unhook and hook from the back side and my friends say no it's it's impossible because the the length is uh, 21 inch so it's about like 52 53 centimeters so you have to do like this in the air which is like very hard it took me a couple attempts but the first uh, first successful attempt uh, there was so much pressure on the on the fingers and I was uh, already a little bit tired and I taped my fingers and probably I taped it too hard so when I landed uh, the pressure was so high so my finger exploded yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's cool trick cool trick I think I'm bleeding <laughs> Oh, oh that's a big one. Did you catch yourself or did you? Wow, it like it's gushing. You need to take care of that. No, I think uh, I hit the first. Or did you cut yourself on that? I don't know, but it's still cool. Eventually, I found that uh, there was a skin under the nail here, which is just completely exploded, and there was a just torn. So it just because of pressure, and yeah, that's that was a cool one. But now, when I practice a couple of times, I can do it like easily from the first attempt. Let's see. Easy. Maybe not the first try, but still, I got it. I really got it. Well, one more is a definitely collective mind. I mean, 
uh, watch at people in your field that they do things and for example I mostly follow all ninja community and I know what people do and how they have fun in a gym, how they stay creative and I saw recently the move from Brad Sims Uh, I was thinking, hmm, this is kind of cool move. I want to try and do it. After succeed, I was thinking, how can I make it even harder? Let's work on it. Let's see if I got it. Pretty dope move actually. Yeah, and I kind of feel the rhythm. <laughs> At some point, I was thinking how to make it even cooler, more spectacular, and uh, I decided to add twist. Because I was working on twisting and regrabbing, still working on it, I'm sorry. The cliffhanger still don't want to give up, so. some time but trust me as soon as you succeed uh, it's kind of cool feeling but actually it doesn't mean that you're a better athlete on in general stronger and faster this doesn't matter in general and uh, I think sometimes we just have to push each other a little bit but in very healthy way because people who spend a lot of time in their field sometimes you can get I don't know if it's uh, translatable you, like you can get blurry you think that you're already uh, very stable and know how does thing works but sometimes someone new can come and show you the kind of new moves new ways uh, new tips new tricks and you're like oh really and you're like waking up and thinking okay yeah uh, this kind of very interesting and cool thing to know and the healthy way of push pushing each other is very uh, good way to stay creative and uh, uh, see the progress. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that it will be a short video, but I think the topic is pretty cool and pretty wide. And uh, yeah, comment below if you have uh, tips how to stay creative and in general about your attitude on creation process. I understand that create something from nothing sometimes can be really challenging. And uh, if, even if you create something that you're not satisfied, uh, just keep creating. I mean, I have a tons of video that I'm not using. I have a thousand of music projects that I never share with anybody <laughs> because they sound horrible, but it's, it's just a process. That's how you learn. And it's not about proving someone that you can do better or do, I don't know, faster. It's about who you want to become in general and uh, build yourself like brick by brick and try to be happy about it. So, well, thank you for your time. I appreciate your support. I hope you guys staying safe and healthy and uh, positive as always. <laughs> hope you like the video and uh, see you on the next one.